Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D step in PowerPoint. So I'm going to walk you through everything step by step. So this is what we're going to do. After we are done, we're going to add some few images on this. And I actually got this image from Google, so I don't own the right to this image. I downloaded this and for the purpose of this training, I downloaded this image and I'm using it for this tutorial. So let's jump right into action and see how to make these 3D steps using Microsoft PowerPoint. So I just have a slide for now and I'm going to create a new slide. But remember to subscribe to this your first time visit my channel and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. Let me also know at the comment section if you indeed subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's see how to do this. So I'm going to create a new slide for this. So right click below my first slide and go to new slide. Okay, I will not work with this text boxes, so I'll just go ahead and then delete them. Okay, this line is basically coming from the design I'm using. So maybe I have to change this and then go to none. I'm not going to use any theme for now. So I'm basically using a theme. That is why I'm getting this. You can choose to go to the default team for now. So you can see I don't have that line again. So let's start creating this. And we're going to do this using a smart art within PowerPoint. So go to insert and then we'll go to click. We'll go to smart art. Click on that. And then we're going to use the process. There's going to be a step. So we we'll use the process. And there is one down here called closed chevron process. There's another one here as well, the basic one, but let's go with this. So click on this and then click on OK. So now by default, it's going to give you three steps and we actually want to get more than that. So just click and make it active and you can see we have three text boxes over here. If you want to add more, just click over the hit the enter key and then it's going to give you a different point. And now we have what up to five. That is okay and what we want to do is that we are going to convert this into a shape so make sure this is selected and then a new ribbon or a new tab will be generated for you with its corresponding ribbon called the smart art design go to the far right and then under convert click on convert and then select what convert to shape so once that is done we'll have our shape right here i'm going to convert this shape to the this step just as we have over here so select the shape right click and then we have to go to what format shape so click on that and on the far right corner we're going to use the effect click on the effect option and we want to use the 3d rotation click on the 3d rotation and then we have several presets click on the presets and there's one called perspective relax let's use that one and it should be giving you something like this don't be too worried about this we'll come back to this and then modify it okay so after the 3d effect we'll use a shadow as well if you look at my final work i have a shadow attached to this but let's finish this and then we'll get to that stage so now let's go back to our shape and then go back to effects and then from the 3d rotation you go to 3d format and i want us to apply some format to this so let's try and then increase the depth of this to let's say around 20 so let's go and then select 20 so you can see there's some depth applied to this and also we would just go to the two tab bevel and then let's select one of them you can pick any of them that you want we have the convex we have the soft round we also have the hard edge so you can just select any of them and see how this is going to look like so this is what i've selected you can try any of them that you want there's another one you just play along with this and then just pick any of them and then any one that you pick should work for you i have rounded convex as well so for the purpose of this i'm going to pick the one over here called a round convex okay so let's go with this and now if you look at my steps over here they are basically not on the same level so we can also do the same thing over here we don't want them to be on the same level so we will come down here and 
we can also change the material as well so how shiny the face will look like there are some special effects we can pick from you see how this is going to look like it look as if it's a gradient color so let's stick to this and now we want to improve on the steps so we want it to move step by step so we have to go back we have to go back to our 3d rotation go back to 3d rotation and we are going to work on the distance from the ground okay so the first one is going to stay there but the second one let's select the second step and let's give it about 20 points from the ground and you can see at the moment this is going to jump above the first one this actually is going to help you improve your presentation so this will be good for anyone looking to do amazing presentation i'll be doing a series of videos using powerpoint so if this is something you would like subscribe and turn on post notification for more of that and amazing things i'll be doing on this channel i have a lot of videos and i'm going to have free giveaways as well select the next and then since this one is 20 let's give the next one 40 okay so 40 and then it's going to move above that so this is going to be 60 and in that order we'll give the last one 80 so select the last one and then go give 80 okay so select the last one and we'll give 80 and this is going to give us the steps as we want you can see what i have over here is what i have if you want this steps quite small you can just open this up like this and see this is quite bigger compared to the previous one so this is cool and we can give this a shadow so i'll go back to my effects and let me close the rotation go to shadow and then on a preset a several preset you can pick any of them i'm going to go to the offset center and i'm going to go with this shadow okay so now we can actually go ahead and add the rest of these write-ups i can just go ahead and use a text box for that and i'll go to the insert tab go to text box and then just draw a text box here i don't want to write something short let me see your journey so let's just call this your journey to greatness starts here so let's just write something short and we can also give this a heading and we can use the same text box to do that so let's say 3d let's call it 3d steps using powerpoint okay so just something short highlight everything and let me just let me just undo this highlight everything and just increase the size okay and i'm cool with this and what we want to do is if you want to change the color of this you can just select this go to the shape format and go to the shape field and then you can actually play with the color so you can see i use a dark color for that you can play alongside and choose any color you prefer let me use this and now the next thing i want to do is to add this image on top okay you need to give it, get an image that seems to be like someone is moving so that's what i did over here i got several images for this so download them and then make sure the background is transparent so just search for man running and then make sure you add png and then you can filter this by selecting transparent background and this is going to be a png image when you download it it will not have a background so it's easy to place on top of your design so now we can go to the insert tab go to pictures and then go to device i want to select this from my computer so i have one here i can just select this so you can see this is a man running i can just resize this and then just place it on top of this okay just resize it so you get a perfect step like this so you can see if you want a copy of this just select it and press ctrl d and it's going to give you additional copy and then maybe probably we can put it somewhere here okay so this is how to create amazing steps using powerpoints like subscribe for more of my videos I'll show you how we can do or animate some of this. We'll be doing a lot of amazing stuff, presentation, tips and tricks right here on this channel. In order not to miss that, like, subscribe for more of my YouTube video. There's more coming up. If you tend to or you want to apply any of the themes or designs to it, you can just go around and then just move it your cursor on top of them and see which of them you feel like you can use to make this design even amazing so you see what is happening 
I can just play alongside with this and then stick to one for my design. There's other options to play with or more options to select from. So I'll just select this and this is a team so it's going to apply to the previous one as well. Okay. If the step here is smaller, you can actually open this text box so that this will fill just one line. Okay. You can just play and format this. Like for more of my video, there's a lot coming up and you can't afford to miss that. Till I come away again. Bye bye.